In this video, let's talk about different types of interfaces. So when you talk about different types, what are the options we have? So basically, you know, we can divide the interfaces. So we'll say type of interface. We can divide interface into three parts. Okay. The first one can be, we can call them as normal interface. The second one is your uh, functional interface. And the third one is your marker interface. Now this functional interface is also called as SAM. So why it is called SAM we'll discuss in some time. But let's talk about interface here. Now when you talk about interface, at this point we know that in interface we can only declare methods, right? Other thing is after Java 8, we also got an option of defining the method in the interface, but we'll see that later. At this point, we only know that in the interface we can only declare methods. So all the methods in the interface are public abstract, right? Now whenever you create the interface which has normal interface where, where you have multiple methods, it is called a normal interface. So example, if you create an interface here, and let's say the interface name is ABC, and in this interface, if you have two methods or more, that is normal interface. So whenever you have an interface with two or more methods, that's normal interface. And by doing this, you might have guessed it, right? What could be the functional interface? Now, basically, before talking about functional interface, let's talk about SAM. Now, SAM stands for Single Abstract Method. Okay, so that simply means if you have the interface, and let's say the interface name is ABC again, and in this interface, if you have only one method, that is called a single abstract method interface, which is SAM. And we can also call it as a functional interface. Now, why it is called functional, that we'll understand in the next video when we talk about functional interface. Uh, we have a separate video on that. And next one we have is a marker interface. Now, what is marker interface? A marker interface is an interface which has no methods. That's right, a blank interface. Now, why someone will create a blank interface? is to update something to the compiler. So let's say if you want to talk to a compiler by saying, please allow this. Example, you know, uh, in Java, we have this concept of serialization, which means you can take the object and you can store the values of the object in your hard drive. Let me repeat, you can take the object, let's say object has multiple values. So we can create, let's say in your heap memory, uh, okay, I will do that here. So let's say in your heap memory, you got an object and this object has different variables, A, B, C, and this has some values. Let's say A value is 10, B value is 20, C value is 30. And then if you want to save this data in the hard drive, let's say we have a hard drive here, and if you want to store this data, we can use a concept of serialization. And then you can destroy this object. The thing is why we are saving this object is because what if you want to recreate this object later? So let's say when you're playing a game and when you're playing this game, you want to save the game. Now, when you save the game, let's say when you're playing this game, the game takes around 4 GB or 5 GB in your RAM. but when you save the game, it will not consume that much of memory, right? It will consume around in KBs. It's because when you restart the game after closing it, of course, when you restart the game, you will get a default values. Now, if you want the old values, you want to resume the game, you will simply load the current stats. So let's say after some time you close the game, now game is no more, but you have a file in your hard drive and now you restarted the game. The value for A, B, C will be 0, 0, 0. What you can do is you can load these values from here. Now this is called deserialization. So this is serialization and this is deserialization. Okay. Now by default, every object is not allowed to do that. So it is not allowed. Okay. You have to give the permission. How will you give the permission? So you can simply create a class and you can give the permission with the help of marker interface. So we have a lot of marker interface in Java, uh, serialization or serializable. Uh, then when you talk about the advanced part, also we have some interfaces, but it's it's important. Okay, so if, whenever you see an interface which is blank, that's a marker interface. And maybe in the upcoming videos, when you talk about some frameworks, we'll talk about different marker interfaces. But that's what it is. Uh, so what is normal interface, which has more than two methods or two or more than two methods? The functional interface or SAM only has one method. Now this is actually important for the upcoming videos and uh, try to understand this every every time you have an interface which has only one method uh, we can use some extra features with it what are those features we'll see that in the next video